Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna start off with CompTI Pentest Plus, the learning path. The last video was pen testing fundamentals, pretty easy. And this one talks about red team engagement. I think it's pretty easy. So let's uh, get right into it, follow along. Um, as you know guys, these, this video my video is going to show you how to answer all the task questions. I strongly recommend to redo each task so you get a full understanding what's it all about. And uh, if you are studying comp, uh, TIA pen test uh, plus exam, I highly recommend to go through this learning path uh, to boost your chances of passing because it just makes a lot of things easier. So I wish I would have completed it before I took my test, even though I passed it barely, but this helps a lot. All right, let's go to task one, introduction. Let's see, yeah, figures. So answer questions below, read the above and continue with the next task. Very simple, just talks about Red team engagements, learn the steps and procedures of red team engagement, including planning, frameworks, and documentation. All right, let's complete that. Task two, defining scope and objectives. So this talks about what the pen test is all about, why we're we doing it, what's the purpose of it. So answer questions below, read the example client objectives and answer the questions below. Click complete. Below is an example of the client objectives of a mature organization with strong security posture. So we can you can read through this. And it says what CIDR range is permitted to be attacked. And I believe it's the under scope number three attack against systems within 10.0.4.0 slash 22 are permitted. So I'll just type it in 10.0.4.0 slash 22. There you go. Is the use of white cards permitted? Is it white cards per right here on objectives number four use of white cards is permitted depending on downtime and length then yes are you permitted to access star dot b to change dot xyz question mark yes or no and it's under scope number five dash one any interaction with b to change dot xyz is prohibited so it's no there you go guys that was easy all right let's go number three rules of engagement so this is the rules of pen testing and it says answer the questions below download the sample rules of engagement from the task files once downloaded read the example document and answer the questions below. Okay, so download the task file. Alrighty, so this is the rules of engagement. Let's click complete. Next question, how many explicit restrictions are specified? Restrictions, so use of white cards are strictly prohibited, any form of DD OS or DOS is prohibited attacks against any machine within 192.168.1.0 slash 24 is prohibited. So three. All right. Next question was the first access type mentioned in the document. First access type. Access types 
fishing under activities. All right, and last question is, is the red team permitted to attack 1892.168.1.0 slash 24, yes or no? Let's see, so, and attack against any system within this IP address is prohibited, so it's no. All right, awesome. All right, next one, task four, campaign planning. All right, just to read through task four, talks about different types of plans, engagement plan, operation plan, mission plan, remediation plan. And you can click on these links. This is a checklist, oops. Right, you could right click a new link. So we're at team checklist, okay. Click complete, read the above and move on to engagement documentation. All right, task five, engagement documentation. Okay, so it talks about engagement plan, operations plan, mission plan, remediation plans. So answer questions below, read the above and move on to the upcoming engagement specific tasks. All right, talk about different types of documentation. Then task six is concepts concept of operations all right answer a question below read the example con ops and answer the questions below so we're going to read this example to answer to below the questions Let's see it says based on the customer security posture maturity of the ttp of the third group it's fin FIN6 will be employed throughout the engagement. Click complete. How long will the engagement last? All right, identify tier three progressively. And this paragraph operators are expect also expect to execute a main and maintain persistent to sustain a period of three weeks. So is it three weeks? No, it's not. Red team. It's okay, three tier for a period. I trust the agent. Mm. weeks make for place this one how long is the red cell expected to maintain persistence Let's see so it's three weeks now let's read this oh so it's the first sentence hollow enterprise has hired try hat me as external contractor to conduct a month-long network infrastructure assessment and security posture so one month all right, what is the primary tool used within the engagement? Let's see, operators. We realize progressively. All right, the last sentence, the red cell will accomplish objectives by employing the use of cobalt stripe. as the primary red cell tool. Awesome. All right, task seven, resource plan. So it talks about resources. And let's see, ask your questions below, navigate to the view site button and read to provide a resource plan. Once complete, answer the questions below. So click that. All right, complete. 
So this is the plan, including the header, engagement dates, knowledge require, optional, and resource requirements. It says, when will the engagement end? Hint, found under execution dates. All right, execution dates. It will end November 14, 2021. So you can just copy and paste. There you go. Next question is, what is the budget the red team has for AWS cloud costs found under cloud requirements? Cloud requirements says number two, red cell is requesting a budget of $1,000 for AWS cloud costs. I forget the dollar sign. There you go. Last question. Are there any miscellaneous requirements for the engagement? Hint found under miscellaneous requirements and it says no other requirements are currently projected. So no. All right, task eight, operations plan. Let's exit. Oops, all right. Answer questions below, navigate to the view site button and read the provided operations plan. Once complete, answer the questions below. All right, click view site. All right, same form. What phishing method will be employed during the initial access phase? Hint, found under plan, TTPs and attacks. All right. So what phishing method? Okay, during, uh, to sustain. All right. We'll use spear phishing via MSH tower. All right. What site will be utilized for communication between the client and the red cell? Hint found under communications planned. All right. What site throughout the engagement the red cell will utilize? Vector.io. And last question, if there is a system outage, the red cell will continue with the engagement through a fault and found under halting stopping conditions. And it says number one, in the event of system outrage, outage, all engagement operation will cease. So may. Split view and task nine mission plan. Again, answer your questions below. Navigate to the view site button and read the provided mission plan. Once complete, answer the questions below. View site. Click complete. And when will the phishing campaign end? Hint found under engagement breakdown. As you read number one, it will end October 23rd, 2021. And then next question, are you permitted to attack 10.6.78? Yes or no, found under targets. So targets, and the only target is 10.10.6.29. So When stopping condition is encountered, you should continue working and determine the solution yourself while a team lead true or false. Found under execution variants. And it says in the event of any varying events throughout the engagement, immediately contact a team lead and discuss how to continue. So it's false. All right. Let's exact that one. And then task 10, conclusion. And it says, we have now, we have covered how you can quantify campaign plans into documents and prepare for successful red team engagement in this room. And then answer questions below, read the above and continue learning.
That's it, guys. That was pretty simple. Once you finish, you'll share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, as I already share my LinkedIn. As you know, guys, I'm currently not working in the IT industry, but this is something I really like doing. And I'm going to sh show you guys uh, how I pass. Um, you know, this helps me motivate to these to these videos and how I show you guys uh, complete these uh, room tasks learning path. And I hope you like, hope you guys like my previous videos explaining how I passed the CompTIA A plus, uh, the Security plus, and Pentest plus. And um, till next video, thanks for watching, guys.